What's going on guys? I'm Icy Rhythms. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, something a little bit different, something that I don't normally discuss in a lot of videos here on the channel, streaming and recording. I do talk about it with friends and, and fans of the channel outside of YouTube somewhat often, researching it for myself constantly, all the time. But a lot of times over the years, you would just end up with a dead end and find that a lot of the settings that you use, whether it's like something that you've completely come up with yourself or a combination of that as well as someone else's settings, you would just come up with a dead end because the technology itself hadn't really improved and the software that was using that technology, that hardware, had not made enough big changes for new settings to really even matter all that much and quality is very important to me i usually don't even let my videos go live until they're 720p or 1080p now if it's a 60 fps video i try to let that go up as well so 720p 60 fps i'll let it go live as long as you guys can see it in hd in the somewhat intended quality that i want for you guys then that's really important to me but nvidia with OBS have made huge improvements to the way you stream and record, also making it a lot more friendly as far as performance. Now, using NVENC before was still a better option if you were just looking to keep a lot of your performance over X264 while using CPU encoding. Now, CPU encoding has always given much better quality I can confirm this for myself as someone that does a lot of content creation. X264 CPU encoding is, I think for many people, still going to be the way to go. But since I always used somewhere between the very fast preset and the, I think it was medium. Medium is very, very demanding. Things have now changed. Things have now changed with OBS and NVIDIA working together. And especially, especially if you have an RTX card 2060 through 2080 Ti, I believe, all using the new technology. And they have made huge improvements to the overall quality. Now, you're still going to get the overall performance benefits that NVIDIA and OBS have worked on, making it even less stressful on your hardware to use NVENC encoding while you're streaming and recording. But unfortunately, fortunately for me, and fortunately for some of you, uh, the RTX cards are the only ones that received the boost in quality. And let me tell you, I can't see much of a difference between the quality that's available now with RTX cards and the X264 presets CPU encoding when it comes to very fast or medium. And in fact, I would say in some cases, the medium option isn't even as good as the NVENC option now with the even lower performance cost as well as the quality boost that you get if you're using an RTX card. So they've made absolutely huge improvements. There's no denying that uh, a one stream pc a one recording pc is is now possible obviously it's going to be a lot more hassle but if you can afford to do so and it makes sense for the space the room that you have in your computer area to do so i mean having a second streaming or recording pc may still be the way to go but just for convenience factor alone a one streaming, one recording PC is absolutely possible now, and you have to think that NVIDIA is going to continue working with the people that are working on OBS, and this is only going to get better for RTX cards, for new cards in the future. There is such a bump in the overall performance hit, and especially the quality. It's just, it's, it's really amazing. Everything that you're seeing in this video, absolutely everything, whether it's the console gameplay or the PC gameplay that you're seeing, I am using the new OBS along with all of the improvements they've made there 
uh, in collaboration with NVIDIA and their new technology on the RTX cards. I'm using all of that to record all of this gameplay. PC games, console games, it's, it's a massive improvement. It may not be something that's immediately apparent to a lot of you, but it's apparent to me. I've always looked for, you know, providing you guys with the best quality possible, and now I can take that to another level. I wouldn't say it's a massive jump, but I would say it's a big jump. A big jump in quality, and it's only going to get better, and just things like artifacting or, you know, seeing different things off in the distance, different, like, situations where there's a lot of foliage on screen, a lot of that has been greatly improved, and for someone that creates a lot of content and will stream from time to time, this is huge. It's absolutely huge. Anyone saying otherwise is in denial. One streaming, one recording PC, absolutely now possible because of this collaboration and, and NVIDIA and OBS taking the time to work together and putting in that extra effort because this is what gamers want. Two PCs, it's an inconvenience, even for those that can afford it. You know, I'm sure a lot of the, the top YouTubers and the, the top streamers, a lot of them probably have a dual stream setup. You know, Dr. Disrespect, Shroud, uh, Ninja, uh, whoever that person is, a lot of them probably do have a dual PC setup. And now with this, they may be looking to get rid of that because it, it is an inconvenience, even though it does and can provide a higher quality. But now with this, it's like, man, the, the higher quality that it would provide is is almost like a, a point that's irrelevant because you, you, there's only a certain amount of bitrate that's allowed on Twitch or YouTube for that matter when it comes to streaming anyway. Recording videos is a little bit different. So they're looking at it now like, well, I, I can do this all on one PC. I, I think I'd rather do that. So this is huge. It's big for you guys. It's big for me. Anyone else that creates content, you, this may be something that you want to look into, even if you just want to go out and spend the money on a 2060. You don't necessarily have to get a 2070, a 2080, or a 2080 Ti, but it's something to consider. If you create content, it's a very big deal. And I think with that, we are done with this video. Just to close it out, it was a lot of fun explaining some of this to you guys because it's going to benefit you. It obviously benefits me, the content creator, and other content creators that you watch. You know, they can feel free to jump on board as well because this is this is a very big deal if you're a content creator. And they, they've just completely changed the way that this works and, and the way the technology and the software talk to each other, it's it's really incredible. And this is something that they didn't necessarily have to do, especially NVIDIA, the market leader. It's, it's a big deal. And it was probably in their best interest for those that don't want the inconvenience or can't afford a dual streaming or dual recording PC setup. This was huge for them. And, and something I think that they should probably be advertising a lot more. Their official YouTube channel doesn't have a hell of a lot of views. There should be a lot more views for the videos they have talking about this very topic. And it's just crazy that NVIDIA doesn't have more. So that's my video, that's my take. Uh, more videos to come, more videos to come. That is a promise. And let me know what you guys think. Do you see any sort of quality improvements? in comparison to other videos that I've uploaded in recent memory, let me know in the comment section. You guys are awesome. You guys take care. Have a good one. Peace.